Well, colleges and universities across the country are operating online now because of campus closings from COVID-19. And that includes recruiters all trying to enroll for the class of 2024. Our Pepper Baker joins us live with how Middle Georgia State University leaders are working to get through prime recruitment time. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Aaron. That's right. For college visits, but it's a much different experience for high school juniors and seniors through this all the COVID 19 closures. And with everything moved online, I spoke with one high school senior from Warner Robins High School about how she's dealing with making all of these college decisions without actually stepping foot on campus. So I got accepted in the very first, and I was so excited. I was like, okay, let me set up my college visit for that. And then, like four days later, the UGA decisions came out and I got accepted in the UGA. Jamie Thigpen was in the midst of making one of the biggest decisions of her life. Then COVID-19 happened. That's when everybody started talking about, oh, we're going to be out of school. We're not going to, we're closing down the colleges for now. Everybody's going to be on online classes. And I was like, Okay, this is going to make my decision 10 times harder. Many high school juniors and seniors visit colleges in the spring. Middle Georgia State Enrollment Management Vice President Jennifer Stenander says it's a prime time for recruitment. Our recruiters are in the high schools. We host open houses with over a thousand students at each open house. We had um, 25 orientations planned. So, um, and five of those had already, were already at capacity. Although the campus may be closed, she said Middle Georgia State has everything available online. Students still will be receiving emails. They will go through orientation online. Um, they will register for their classes and um, meet with their advisors. So they can't come to us. So we're bringing campus to them. Stenander says prospective students who won't be able to take SAT tests until June can still apply to MGA. You do not need SAT scores to apply for admission. That's not going to prevent you from being accepted. Students can take a look at the campus through virtual tours and photos online. Thigpen wants seniors to remember these trying times won't last forever. The class of 2024 has a lot to offer and I keep on crying. I'm so sorry. And that everything will be okay in the end. We just have to be patient and we have to be strong. Now, despite not being able to visit UGA, Thigpen has decided to attend this fall. And as far as Middle Georgia State St. Andrews says, their move-in dates for summer and fall have not changed at the moment. Live from home, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. <laughs> Thank you, Pepper. That was a wonderful story. And you're just seeing how much it's affecting people on so many levels. Middle Georgia State University students can still go on the admissions webpage to contact their assigned recruiter for more information.